Okay, let's give you a cheeky buff. How do we look? Beautiful. All right, let's go. The GS Adventure is well known for its long distance capabilities. It's kind of what it's designed for. But just exactly how far can you go in a fuel tank? And then when the fuel gauge says zero, how many miles have you got after that? I've done about two miles on this bike when the um, fuel gauge has hit zero. But do you need to panic? Have I got another five miles, eight miles, 10 miles? That's what I want to find out. That's what we're going to do. Let's do it. <clears throat> what I want to do is uh, just give a bit of information to any guys that are new to the channel. Um, the, the test, I'm about three days into the test now. Today is my day off. I want to give you a bit of rundown on the bike itself that I'm using and also the route to work that I'm taking and the three different um, uh, questions that I want answered from doing this test. So first of all, the bike itself is a bog standard 2016 GS Adventure. Bog standard air filter, standard exhaust, off the shelf, completely standard. That's the bike. The route itself I'm taking is going to be my route to work every day. So it's 18 miles each way. 36 miles per day now each route you could split up into three sections uh, each section being roughly 20 minutes long so the first one is um, i jump onto the a2 and it's a constant 50 mile an hour until i get to the blackwall tunnel then it goes down to 20 and after that it's a 20 mile an hour uh, bus lane with traffic lights so it's a bit more stop start and then the last 15 20 minutes is heavy built up city of like london traffic a lot of traffic lights a lot of stop start stop start stop start so it's a uh, i didn't want you to think i'm just going to jump on the motorway and just go for like four hours until the petrol runs out i want this to be a real world test so i'm basing it off my real world uh, commute to work every day so that's that. Um, these these are the now. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? It's purely out of curiosity. Do I have to panic when the when the light comes on, or can I wait another day? Can I wait two days? Can I do five more miles when the light comes on? Ten more miles, whatever. I don't know. That's what I want to find out. And these are the questions that I want answered. So the first one is I fill up the fill up the tank, and then when the fuel light comes on. How many miles have I done to that point? This is going to be based off the uh, trip meter as well, so it'd be more accurate. Um, I want to find out the estimated range, which is what the bike is telling me how many miles I have left to I need to fill up, versus the actual range from the trip meter. And when I have zero miles left, when the bike says zero and there's no more bars on the petrol gauge, how far do I have left until the bike stops? Those are the questions I want answered. Let, let's do it. All right, let's set this trip meter to zero. So guys, check this out, just going in on my, on my way to work and the range is now actually telling me uh, it's estimating 443. So um, that's that's as high as it's going to get. So uh, if it does get higher, I will show you. But um, so far, that's as high as it's got. 443 miles until empty. Estimation. Right guys, we have the info, the test results are in. Okay, now you remember those initial questions that I put up here, I'm gonna answer those, but I've also added a few more things onto this bit of paper, uh, which may have been of some use to you, but so don't worry, I'm gonna seal this information here. 
I'm going to put this on the board at the end, take a photograph of it, leave it at the end of the video so you can look through it at your own time, uh, do a screenshot or whatever you need to do. So, again, bearing in mind this was done from uh, based on my trip. If you're going to do this test, the results may differ. But I think approximately it should be roughly the same. So, here we go. <coughs> right. Now, the, you remember the estimate? It said a full tank estimated range based on the riding that I'm doing was 443 miles. Right, bear that in mind. Okay. So from a fully brimmed tank, like you saw in the video, until the fuel light comes on, I managed to cover 280 miles. All right guys, check it out. So the fuel light has just come on. I've managed to do 280 miles. The fuel light has just come on. And uh, hopefully you can see that okay. 280.3 miles, the fuel light has just come on. Uh, and the range is saying 50 miles left and two empty. So let's carry on and see how far we get until it gets until that number there, until the estimation gets to zero. Now the numbers that I'm going to be telling you here are accumulative, but then I've broken it down at the bottom and I'm going to tell you those as well. So 280 miles uh, for my Australian and American friends is 450 kilometers. So again, a full tank until the fuel light comes on, you will cover approximately 280 miles or 450 kilometers. Okay. From the moment the fuel light comes on until the bike range is telling you zero, you have zero miles left, you need to fill up now. I managed to cover 329 miles. Woo! All right. We've just hit zero on the miles, so we've got uh, the estimation is telling us zero. Uh, let's see how many miles we can do after this. I've got my trip meter set so far to zero from a full tank. We've got 329 miles, 329.2. So let's see how many further miles we can get until the bike just stops. Oh God. I'm shitting myself. Woo, let's go. I'm just going to leave you recording, I think, because I don't think this is going to take too long. Maybe five miles, I don't know. That's the whole reason we're doing this test. Whew, all right. Or 529 kilometers. So again, from the fuel light coming on until the bike shows zero, so no bars left, no fuel bars left, estimated range at zero or a dash dash in this bike's case, I managed to cover 329 miles. Now, this is the one that I was really interested in finding out about. So do you remember when I told you that when the bike says dash dash zero, all the fuel bars are gone, I managed to get two miles out of this bike and I wanted to find out how far I could go. Now, what do you reckon it is? Three miles, five miles, 10 miles at a push? <sighs> I managed to get from this bike, from the moment the bars disappeared and the fuel light said zero, I managed to cover another, hold on a sec, let me get this right, 30 miles. Uh oh, was that it? That's it, we're done, we're out. Let's turn off the engine. Come over here. That's it, we're done. 359 miles. Yep, 359 miles. Grand total, I'm going to call that 360. Oh, right, let's fill her up and go home. I'm bloody knackered.
Oh, thank God for that. All right, let's get back to the man cave and I'll give you all the juicy info. Oh, Jesus, what a night. Why am I panicking when I'm, I've done like two miles? Oh, I've got to get some petrol. I could, I could have rode to work. I couldn't have rode back, but I could have rode to work. So yeah, so when the bike says zero, all the bars are gone, you could still cover another 30 miles. That's, anyway, that's bonkers. So zero until the bike stops, you can cover 30 miles. Now, all of that accumulated. So from the moment you fill up the tank until the bike grinds to a halt, you can cover on this bike 360 miles. Now, obviously I wouldn't recommend you do that because it means you would have run out of petrol. So the safe, the safe bet is to fill up when the fuel light comes on, at around about 329 miles you would have covered and that still gives you another 30 miles sort of breathing distance until the bike stops. 30 miles, that's unbelievable. Anyway, hopefully that all makes sense. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this pinned to the wall here, take a picture and show you guys so it's all broken down. If you need to ask me anything, please ask me anything. If I haven't covered anything, please let me know. But I think everything is covered here. Hopefully that'll be of some use to you. If you're thinking about getting this bike and you're wondering what it can actually do. Like I said, if you're gonna do this um, test, the results may differ, you know, obviously. I may, I may weigh more than you, you may weigh more than me. Um, the bike itself was in road mode and it was just standard unleaded. And like I said before, completely standard, bog standard GS. Right, I'm gonna get this on the wall. Guys, thanks for sticking with me on this one. This was a very interesting test for me to do. So now I just, I know not to panic anymore. It's great, bloody marvelous. Right, there you go. Have some of that. That did make sense, right? That did make sense. Okay, shut up, Billy.